What up guys, it's OS2 Koi coming to you with a sexy ass 10 out of 10 wood bang laptop. What I have right here is an IBM ThinkPad 380E from 1997 and oh my goodness me, just look at how unbelievably thick this thing is. You know, you see it on Reddit and YouTube all the time, you know, all these guys with like the T420 or any of the other modern ThinkPads and they're like, oh my god, it's a thick pad, it's a fucking thick pad, look how unbelievably thick this thing is. And come on now. Who are you kidding here? Here's a modern ThinkPad. This is a T61. Put it on top, and there's absolutely no comparison. No, get it right, guys. This is a thick pad. This is a thin pad. And I'm not even gonna get into like the carbon or any of that other new garbage. Oh, yeah, fucking gross. But anyway. Uh, to mention specs for this thing, this thing is running a blazing fast Intel MX processor at 150 megahertz with 48 megs of RAM with a 4 gig hard drive. So now I'll give you a little tour around the ThinkPad. So on the front right here, we got our two latches for the lid, a speaker, speaker grill right here, and on the corner right here, the corner kind of broken off. It happened when I bought it. I bought this thing a couple years ago used on eBay, bought it for around 50 bucks back when you didn't have to be a multi-fucking billionaire to own retro computers. Anyway, on the side right here, and here is problem number one. Uh, so we have a three and a half inch floppy drive, uh, but there should be a CD drive here. So 380E is the low end model of the 380 line of ThinkPads. The 380 line of ThinkPads is by far my favorite one because of the CD floppy drive combo drive, as well as sometimes having USBs on the back. However, this is the low end one, so there was definitely a lot of cutbacks made. Anyway, so we got our volume dial right here, microphone headphone, on the back right here, you have your standard ports you can expect for a 90s laptop, so VGA parallel serial, power PS2, fan. This side right here, we got our power switch, infrared, PCMCA, Kensington lock. On the bottom, we have, that's where the battery would be. Uh, battery's about to explode, so I took that out. Uh, docking station right there. And we put it back down. Now. This is where it gets good. Oh yeah, so open it up. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness me, look at this. So nice display right here. So uh, honestly, the display on this one's one of those really shitty low end ones that has mouse trails up the ass. Unfortunately, got a contrast slider right there. And oh yeah, oh yeah. This is what you call a good motherfucking keyboard. Not this chiclet ass bullshit. This is like, when you type on this, you feel like you're typing on a computer, not a toy. Oh, so good. I have two mouse buttons right here, and here's the palm rest. This one's actually made out of plastic as opposed to on the higher ones where it's made out of rubber. The problem with rubber is that over time, it gets more brittle, it dries out, it gets sticky. This one, since that's the low end, was plastic, but honestly, it's better now. And show you guys the lid. Again, this one's made out of plastic, not the rubber. Raised IBM logo. I don't know what it is, but sometimes when you see these ThinkPads on eBay, it's, it's like people wipe their asses with ThinkPads, like the logo is completely blacked out. I mean, I get it. ThinkPads are sexy, but come on now, don't do that to your ThinkPads. So plug it in and Let's do some OS2. Oh yeah, it doesn't get any more IBM than this. So, bring you guys in a little bit. And you see the quality of the screen. It's definitely not the worst one I've ever seen. I have a 365 XT, that, which is like 10 times worse. Um, dead pixels in the middle, from what I could assume is just some kid tried to poke the screen. but. We are presented with problem one, which is mouse trails. Now, again, it's not that bad, but when you play a game, you're really gonna notice it after a while. So, set to 2002, and let's boot into OS2. So the hard drive on this is almost dead, so I may have to boot this thing literally like three or four times. I really hope I don't have to do that. Another cool thing you can do is hold down FN and F8, make this go bigger. This is actually really useful for using DOS programs. So you can have them in full screen. Come on, you can do it. You can boot. Do it, you fucker. Come on. 
God damn it. All right, let's do this again. Okay, now this thing is finally booting. Second try, fuck yeah. And when this thing boots in, I'm gonna talk about my adventures with this ThinkPad because you know, me and this ThinkPad have been through a lot. It's definitely fun installing this. Cough, 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 cough. No, it wasn't. Oh man, that is literally the second best boot up sound I've ever heard in my entire life. That is pure good feelings on the ears. The only one that beats that is NT4. But anyway, before I get into OS2, I need to talk about installing OS2 on this computer because when I was doing it, I was thinking to myself, what fun. Oh my goodness me. So, you know. The reason I installed OS2 on this computer is because it only has a floppy drive and at the time the only operating system I had on floppy disk was Warp 3 so I was like you know why not you know IBM computer IBM operating system it should work like a fucking dream shouldn't it oh no oh no 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 it's quite the opposite now you have to expect that you know um, this ThinkPad's from 1997 and Warp 3 is from 1994, so, you know, obviously it's not going to find any of the drivers. That's absolutely fine. However, when I went to the ThinkPad website, when I downloaded the drivers and tried to install it, they did not work. So when I tried to install the display driver, it would corrupt the display. And guess what? I'd have to reinstall it again, 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 again. I literally had to delve to the bowels of the ancient internet to ancient FTP sites, and I finally found the drivers. And you expect that everything will work now. But no, there's one problem, and I'll get into that later on. But anyway, um, so this is OS2. You may be thinking to yourself, oh my goodness me, it looks exactly like Windows. And yes, it does share a lot of elements from Windows. However, uh, I'll show off some things that IBM was trying to push at the time. So first things first, this is the launch pad. Um, it's basically the equivalent of the quick launch menu, and if you don't know what the quick launch menu is, what are you, like 12 years old? So basically, it, like in Windows 7, if you had like, you know, IE, the Windows Explorer Media Player, it's the equivalent of that. So for example, if I take a program such as Corel Draw, right click, drag it onto here. There we go. So from the quick launch menu, I can launch Corel Draw anytime I want. Oh my goodness me. But anyway, I'm going to take that off of there right now. Delete. Yes. And close that. Another thing that IBM was trying to push was drag and drop. We just saw that with the launch pad. So if you go to our system setup and you notice in this window, there's a unique wallpaper. Go to this one. There's another one. So if I go to my mixed color palette and I drag a color, I can color or add pictures to every single window. That's just something you don't see in modern operating systems. I'm looking at Windows 10, the motherfucking worst. However, here you can put any bitmap and any color you want on any window. It's quite nice. Another thing that IBM was trying to push at the time was, you know, it's a better Windows than Windows and a better DOS than DOS. Well, let's see. We're going to see about that later. But if we go to the multimedia folder, the drivers are all working, it's fine. However, there's one thing that doesn't work, and that is the video. So if I try to play this... What a piece of shit. Yeah, the fucking video doesn't work. Before I installed the display driver, the video would work, and I just don't know what the fuck it is. I tried troubleshooting that shit, and eventually I had to give up. I just had to accept it wasn't going to work. But anyway, let's show off one of the stars of this laptop, and that is the keyboard. Oh man, it's not the best ThinkPad keyboard. It's like a nine out of 10, but let's do it. So let's launch IBM Works. And you know, IBM Works is a free office suite that they included. It works. It's all right. Did I not just launch the word process? Oh no, the hard drive failed. Be right back. Okay, we have returned. Uh, this is no fault of the operating system. It's completely on the hard drive, and the hard drive has always been like this in this laptop. I'm surprised it even starts at all, to be honest. But anyway, let's do a new document. Yes. 
and be prepared to listen to some nice keyboard action. Get ready. Oh my goodness me, that is just, you know, it feels really good, but you know, it's not the best one. If there's a couple things passed from before this that feel just a bit better. The best way I can describe it, it's, it's, feel, it's like feeling C cup boobs. I mean, they feel amazing, but they're not D cups, are they? But still, it's absolutely amazing. And I really wish that, you know, at least one OEM manufacturer would go back to a keyboard like this, but no. That's not going to happen. Anyway, let's play some games. Let's play some DOS games. So we'll launch our DOS prompt. Go to full screen. CD. Wolf 3D. Wolf 3D. And let's hope the MIDI works. Sometimes the MIDI doesn't work when the hard drive fails the boot. So let's see if it actually works. So the reason I do FN and F8 is for full screen. So let's enter. And the MIDI does work. Thank goodness. Anyway, let's do a new game. Episode one, bring them on. So the reason I'm showing this off and the reason why this is relevant is because OS2 can play these DOS games, that pretty much makes it the best Windows alternative from the 90s other than Mac OS. Oh no, and I'm already dead. I accidentally pressed the FN key rather than the control key. Oops. It's kind of weird playing at this angle, but no, this... But you're seeing the problems with this display. On uh, the display, you know, it has the mouse trail, so... It... If you look at this for long enough, it's really going to strain your eyes. But no, it's like... When you look at other 90s operating systems like Risk OS or even IBM AIX, I mean, you can't, I mean, they're all right, but like, you can't really do shit on them, really. So this makes OS2 the Windows alternative. It's the best one by far. You can actually do shit on it. You can do your DOS programs. There's a decent amount of software developed for it. But anyway, you get the point. This works. And exit. And that's pretty much it for the IBM ThinkPad 380. Last thing I can do is play some MIDI, but you already heard the MIDI in the game. So time for the verdict. Is the IBM ThinkPad 380E running Warp 3 worth it? Only if you can find it for cheap, guys. Like, honestly, don't fall into those fucking scams on eBay. Don't pay like over 200 bucks for one of these things. It's not worth it. If you can find one for like a hundred bucks, and I'm talking Canadian because I live in Canada, definitely go for it. But it's honestly such a shame that, you know, retro computer quote unquote collecting has become this circle, elite circle of like rich people and neckbeards with disposable income. But anyway, great laptop, great IBM quality, highly recommended. Installing OS2 is always a fun project to take on no matter how frustrating it gets. It's always satisfying when it works in the end. Oh yeah. Anyway, more videos about ThinkPads coming soon.